Hi folks, back in with a, uh, another beer to review. It's uh, close to 29 degrees Celsius in the shade here today, so definitely uh, beer o'clock. Uh, one of the warmest Januarys on record. No, nope, nothing to do with climate change, Donald assures us. So today we're having a look at uh, Grolsch Premium Lager. Um, in a nutshell, 5% lager, IBU of about 30. Uh, this is Grolsch's main beer and it's what they're best known for. Why am I looking at uh, what is obviously a mainstream international beer? Um, not planning to do a lot of these reviews because there are plenty of YouTubers out there doing that already. Um, and Grolsch are one of the big, uh, the big sort of 20 breweries out there. I'm mainly looking at this because I was in Rarotonga recently and couldn't help but notice that the majority of people at the bars and resorts were swigging green bottle beer just like your Grolsch, um, at about $9 a pop, that's New Zealand dollars. I haven't seen that many people drinking green bottle beer since um, New Zealand back in the 1980s, yes, last century, when um, they freed up uh, our import laws and um, we suddenly had uh, access to all these international beers and so you um, you got a vast number of yuppies with a big mobile mobile brick in one hand and a green Heineken or Grolsch or something similar in the other. These days the wealthy young uh, things are all swigging craft IPAs and proudly displaying Android phones just to show that they're um, not in hock to the Big Apple. But back to Rarotonga, it seemed a bit sad to um, be drinking imported green beer in a place like Raro because um, almost everything there is imported except the water and, and the fish. Um, and so if you possibly could uh, give the local brews a crack um, I thought, why not? So um, I've got a couple of the local Rarotongan beers to try, um, but before that I thought I'd uh, try one of these uh, international green green lagers because I haven't actually drunk something like this for uh, many a year. So what, what are you up for? $9 a bottle in Rarotonga. Um, back in New Zealand, about $18 for um, one of these green glass bottles. We don't get the the crown top, we get these fancy flip tops, um, which uh, if you look at one of these empties here, um, they're obviously resealable, very popular with the craft brewers. Um, it's, they've settled on a uh, 450ml glass bottle and um, $18 for a four pack, so that's actually quite expensive um, for a mainstream lager. It's getting up near the craft, craft brew, um, Craft, craft beer prices, so need to bear that in mind. Um, I had a quick look at the website, very trendy, image intensive, um, launched straight into a whole lot of movies, um, which didn't have almost anything to do with beer. Um, it actually took me a while poking around to find something on the beer, but it is there if you um, stumble around um, and eventually uh, find one of those menus, which looks like it's off a cell phone. Unconventional by tradition is um, Grolsch's current line. Uh, they seem to be mostly known for this um, the swing top um, top, despite the beer now being available in um, in cans and uh, and with a traditional crown. Um, there's not not too much else. Um, it's supposedly been brewed since 1615 um, and they pride themselves as being one of the most eco-friendly brewers in the world. According to the website, our brewers reuse 99.8% of all our wasted produced. Quite what wasted produced is, I'm not sure whether that has um, something to do with what the brewers are smoking when they brew the beer or quite what, um, but there you go. The unconventional mindset is also reflected in the swing top bottle whereby every element is recycled. Um, Reading this, you might begin to think that uh, it was actually a Japanese or Chinese brewery and that um, someone hadn't done such a good job on the translation. And um, sure enough, you find that um, a couple, um, in the early part of uh, the 2000s, Gross was actually sold a couple of times and it's ended up being owned by um, Asahi of Japan um, along with Peroni. So um, they've owned it since 2016. Uh, and it sounds as if they've... Um, rewritten the website with a bit of um, dodgy translation. Um, they take a lot of um, pride in the fact that there are actually two different sort of hops in this. Um, if you're into craft beer, particularly your IPAs, you'll, you'll be well aware that some of the IPAs have four or five or more 
different varieties of hops um, and um, plenty of it shoveled in so um, two types of hops is, is not particularly unusual at all these days magnum and emerald for the uh, for those who know what they're talking about supposedly ones for taste and ones for aroma um, and they have dutch aroma malt and um, special spring water which they've um, gone to the trouble of piping six kilometers to the brewery um, they say and this is um, actually the brewed in holland version i gather that um, some places um, have grolsch brewed under license this is um, brewed in holland and i presume shipped all the way to new zealand so let's um have a go opening these they're actually quite difficult to open i'm a couple of our uh, friends actually had some pro problem opening it but uh, if you troll through youtube you'll find that there's uh, a lot of videos on how to open it and um, the famous pop sound when it does you just need two fingers if you're really uh, experienced and you drink a lot of these apparently you can knock the top off um, with a very solid finger um, but i haven't actually tried that um, so here we go and what do they say it's like well they say it's got a natural green aroma smooth mouthfeel medium to high carbonation vibrant taste crisp finish and a medium golden color and uh, i'd say they're right on the golden color medium golden color fairly anemic looking head um, and there's definitely uh, I don't know if I'd describe it as green, it's possibly not the most attractive uh, phrase, but there's there's definitely a, a decent hop aroma um, on the uh, on the nose. As you can probably tell, I've already had a couple of these. And to be fair, there really isn't much surprise in how this drinks. It's pretty much as you'd expect a fairly mainstream uh, international lager there's there's no real faults with it you know, obviously um, sorted out the uh, the brewing technique a long time ago and they can churn this stuff out by the hectolitre um, there might be a little bit more malt than um, in some of your standard lagers but it's uh, there's a nice um, subtle hoppy hoppy flavor when you take a take a sip you could um, you could drink this till you fell over um, very easy drinking um, refreshing on a hot day like today um, but um, interesting not really reliable well yes um, I guess you could be uh, fairly confident that this is going to be um, the same no matter where you got it we did uh, out of the four bottles this one's fine, um, the first two were fine, but uh, the third one was completely near utterly flat. We had a student um, staying with us and he popped it open and it was um, completely flat. And uh, needless to say, it wasn't uh, tasty enough to, um, to drink when it was flat. So that one, um, that one went to, to water the ringer ringers. So, Giving it, give, it, give it a rating, um, I'd probably give it uh, 6 out of 10 with um, an extra point for the um, the interesting flip top um, but a point off for the high price because this really is um, getting up there and I'm not sure if we were just very unlucky or um, if this is actually not nearly as, the flip top is not nearly as reliable as a crown top because I haven't had a flat, flat beer with a crown top for I can't remember when the last one was um, but yeah you certainly wouldn't want um, a quarter of your beers um, opening up flat would I buy more uh, not likely really unless there was nothing else drinkable in the bar um, or I wanted um, some more of these um, these bottles for home brew purposes um, if you were if you're home brewing and you wanted to um, have beer in a sort of 450 ml bottle then um, as long as these uh, are more reliable than the ones we got, that um, that could well be worthwhile. They, it actually looks as if it's a very heavy bottle, 
but it's um I actually weighed it um, but it's only 50 grams more than your, your standard 500 ml bottle so um, that's, that's not going to be a big deal um, so yeah in, in summary I, I it's not one I'd buy again um, but if your preference is um, for readily available international lagers then um, yeah give it definitely give it a go and um, put it on uh, yeah, I, I suspect you could put it on your list of um, something to try when you're um, in the international departure lounge or some sort of hotel where your craft craft beers haven't really reached so have uh, have a good one and enjoy what you're drinking cheers <laughs>